Hello, everyone, and welcome back to DataCloud Now. I'm currently in Las Vegas at the HIMSS conference, where I'm now delighted to be joined by Kevin Lonergram, Program Lead at Advanced Analytics and AI at Alberta Health. Kevin, such a pleasure to have you on the program. You too, Ryan. Thank you. Kevin, Alberta Health is Canada's first and largest province-wide integrated health system, serving over 4.5 million people. What specific data challenges were you facing that led you to modernize your data foundation? Yeah, we've had a, an enterprise data warehouse for a long time that served us well, uh, but the volume of data became so great. We have millions and millions of encounters in our health healthcare system. And so that's really what precipitated this need for something more modern. And it's aligned really nicely, I think, with the rise of AI, the need for compute power that's kind of attached to our data. And so that was the impetus. We've just recently completed our electronic health record implementation of Epic, so big, big program that's now generating a ton of data. Great perspective and overview. Thank you for that, Kevin. How is AI reshaping healthcare at Alberta Health Services, particularly in critical areas like emergency medicine? Yeah, this year feels like a turning point. It's something, something is new. Uh, people are really feeling hope, I think, that AI will help solve some of these chronic problems in healthcare, especially related to clinician burnout. I'm here talking about an AI scribe implementation in the emergency department. We're getting very, very positive feedback that that's lessening the burden of kind of administrative tasks. And so people really, really have, have hope this year. It's something new. And I think that's opening the door to other projects that are coming behind ours, uh, leveraging some of the same technologies that we're using, like Snowflake Cortex and some of, the, some of the platform features that we're using for the scribe. Great to hear, Kevin. When it comes to healthcare, privacy and governance are very much tantamount. How does the AI data cloud take this concern off the table? Yeah, I mean, that is the top priority. Uh, we're going through a healthcare system that's changing. Our legislation in Alberta that's governing health data is changing. Uh, building the trust of patients, I think, requires that we secure it. And so this is absolutely our top priority when we're implementing AI. And having a platform that has like privacy centric features and advanced features to secure our data is like critically important. Being able to say, especially in today's geopolitics, that our data resides in a certain place in Canada and that it's transiting to certain places, it's, it's critically important. And so, yeah, this is the number one priority. And Snowflake's helping us get there and convince the government, convince patients that we are securing the data. Great to hear, Kevin. How is AI impacting the broader healthcare industry? And where do you see it driving the most change in the year ahead? Yeah, I mean, look around it's at the show. It's all around us. Top to bottom, there's not right. a booth here that's not in some way um, talking about AI. And certainly there's some marketing, but I think this year people are experiencing AI in their personal lives, uh, in their work lives, maybe using corporate tools, and they want that in their clinical workflows. So. We're seeing demand from all over the organization for things like AI scribes, but it's going beyond that. I think people are already thinking about what's next. Chart summarization, uh, democratizing these tools among many, many other people. So giving people the tools to build solutions to solve problems across our system. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, not, there's not an area, a corner of our organization that's not being touched by AI in some way, um, I think this year. You know, Kevin, it's clearly all happening here in Las Vegas at the HIMSS conference. As you look ahead, what's your primary focus and how do you see data interoperability advancing Alberta's health's mission to deliver exceptional care at scale? So I'm very focused on scaling our scribe across our emergency medicine program. But beyond that, interoperability is really important. Our organization's going through a lot of change. It's really important that the different organizations that are custodians of our data can talk to each other. It's important that we can link our electronic health rec record data to other data sets that live outside that bubble. Uh, so it's a really, really key uh, part of what we're doing now. And uh, yeah, it's a very exciting year. It's very exciting to be working with uh, Snowflake. And, and yeah, thanks for, thanks for the invitation. Well, Kevin, I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Ryan. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.